This video shows how seasonal groundwater can cause sewer flooding. This can happen when the ground becomes saturated, often after long periods of rain. Groundwater is an important part of the water cycle. This video shows an example in chalk valleys where it is a particular problem, but it can happen elsewhere in the UK. Chalky ground, more commonly found in the south and east of England, holds rainwater like a sponge, making it a valuable water resource. However, once the ground can no longer hold any more water, it can lead to groundwater flooding. This happens when the sponge becomes full and the water table rises to the ground surface. In a typical summer, the water table is low and will have no impact on communities. However, in a typical winter, more rainfall soaks into the ground, causing a higher water table. This can result in the appearance of springs or winterbournes. Winterbournes are dry ditches in summer months, but can become rivers in winter conditions, fed by the groundwater. In very wet winters, the prolonged heavy rainfall can result in swollen rivers and even higher water tables, creating more springs which can last for several months. This spring water often flows down hillsides onto roads which can then become like small rivers. During these times of seasonal high groundwater, the sewerage system is vulnerable to inundation, especially when the sewers are designed for foul only flows. Your house is probably connected to the public sewer in the road through your private drain, which takes the foul water from baths, washing machines and toilets. When the groundwater table is high, groundwater can be forced into the public sewer and private drains through small cracks either in the pipes or the inspection chambers. These small flows of groundwater can over time inundate the foul sewers. These sewers are not designed to carry groundwater or rainfall runoff from roofs, hard standing and highways. Springs can also cause surface water flooding. If this happens, don't lift manhole covers as this may cause sewer flooding downstream. It will also create a dangerous hazard because sewers are often several metres deep. There is no room for this excess water and so it could back up through the sewers into nearby homes and people may not be able to flush toilets if the system is airlocked. It is also not permitted to connect gullies to the foul only sewer without the permission of your local water company as rainwater runoff can add to the problem of foul sewer flooding. So what can we do about this problem? The challenge of groundwater during wet winters is the huge quantity of water in the ground. Trying to intercept such large amounts of water before it soaks into the ground would need an unrealistic amount of above ground storage. Pumping the groundwater into rivers would not reduce the groundwater table and would only move the problem elsewhere. For example, it could increase the risk of river flooding. Increasing the size of sewers is expensive and disruptive and would not help where the water table is so high. Even larger sewers will become saturated unless the public and private sewers and manholes are watertight. However, we can monitor new developments to agree suitable points of connection to the sewer, ensuring that rainwater from roofs and driveways drain away in the correct place. Tankering small volumes from strategic points on the sewer network can relieve pressure and reduce the risk of foul sewer flooding. We can arrange portaloos to be provided in areas where there is restricted toilet use. In emergency circumstances, water companies can ask the Environment Agency for permission to pump small amounts of screened water into rivers to protect properties from sewer flooding. Our long-term goal is to make the sewer system watertight. This is achieved by lining sewers in the highest risk areas. We often use no-dig technology to make as little disruption as possible. This requires an ongoing program of inspections to find any cracks and then lining the sewers to make the assets watertight to reduce groundwater seeping into sewers. If you live in an area susceptible to high levels of groundwater, remember, during flooding do not attempt to lift manholes. Do not connect rainwater pipes or gullies to the foul sewer system unless you have obtained permission from your water company. For more information on groundwater flooding in your area, visit the websites of the Environment Agency, your lead local flood authority and your water company.